Hey everybody, welcome to Alaska Raceway Parks Tuesday Track Talk. I'm your host, Michelle, and um, well, I was getting everything all set up to go for Tuesday Track Talk, had everything all lined up here on my computer, and the power went out. So, um, there's that. Um, but anyhow, I do have a lot of things to go over today, so hopefully you have power where you're at and you're tuning in. Otherwise, um, we can go ahead and we'll have this um, on our YouTube and Facebook later so you can tune in at your leisure. Um, the first big news that we've got today, of course, is that um, we launched the voting for the 2022 Advance My Track Challenge through NASCAR and Advance Auto Parts today. So if you haven't done so already, go to advancemytrack.com, click on Alaska and vote for us. You can vote three times a day every day from now until May 6th. Um, we have a cool little video that was put together um, and it kind of showcases some of the cool stuff at our racetrack. Um, but uh, we did we did such a great job last year and I know we're gonna do really good again this year. So um, voting is now until May 6th. So just, you know, you get up in the morning, have your coffee, go ahead and vote. You can do it on your phone, tablet, computer, whatever, um, but let's get us into the top six so that we can make it to the number one position this year and get $50,000 for track improvements um, at our very cool racetrack. Share it with your friends, family. Uh, um, you guys are going to get tired of hearing me talk about it, but um, it's it's a really big deal and I really um, appreciate everybody for tuning in and making sure that that happens. So um, second big news that was announced yesterday, if you didn't see it, we are going to be broadcasting all of the circle track races this year on Flow Racing. So if you haven't um, done so already, you can go to flowracing.com, sign up for a member. Okay, bear with me. I forgot that we don't have internet, so it's not liking this a whole lot. Um, Oh, hey, Mike Quintieri posted he is headed to Vegas for a million dollar race this weekend. So um, that's pretty rad. Uh, wish you guys all the best and we will be tuning in there. Uh, Mike, are we going to be able to watch that on NHRA.TV or how are we going to be able to tune in and see how you're doing? Send me a comment. Let me know. Um, okay, so Flow Racing, if you guys haven't signed up, go ahead and do that. It's really cool because you can see all sorts of racing. They even have... Um, the Funny Car Chaos is on there. Um, they have um, all the dirt racing, all the racing at the NASCAR show, short tracks, um, and it's 150 bucks a year. So that is super way cheap. Um, check that out. I um, look forward to having everybody tuning in and watching us on Flow Racing this year. Um, let's see, item number three, mufflers and Thunderstock. Um, we updated the rules for the um, circle track this weekend. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and look at it. If you're in the late model class, um, I know you guys have been uh, questioning me and asking about this and whatever. So we decided to go ahead and um, allow a side exhaust, but you are required to have a muffler. We don't have a spec muffler in place for this season. Um, it just needs to be a working muffler. Um, next year, we will have a spec muffler. Of course, um, right now you can't get the spec mufflers. So um, get something, put it on your car, have a muffler. It's got to be 95 dB at 100 feet. So um, uh, there's that. That was a, a rule change that um, Jeff made. Uh, FYI, I have <laughs> um, uh, The other thing is, is that I got those updates in the Thunderstock class for the dual plane um, intakes. So uh, check that out just in case I type out or something. Um, but do that. Item number four on my list today, um, Miss Kelly Prockish is looking for photos or stories or letters or things like that um, about her late husband, Mike, uh, who raced here uh, for a long time and was racing out of state um, at the time when he passed. He had a cool machine shop down um, where they live. And so if you have anything like that that you would like to share with the Prakash family, there is contact information on our Facebook page. So you can go ahead and send that in. Um, it would be great to get some pictures and things like that over. 
Um, and then the last item that I have today, uh, Kristen just shot me over a text and asked if anybody would be interested in being in the Alaska Raceway Park display that is gonna be in the Menard Center the last weekend in April. So that's April 23rd and 24th. They're allowing us to have a little display and kind of show off all of our vehicles. So she is looking for um, a late model, a baby grand, and a bandolero, but if you, there's drag cars or any other cars that wanna be in there, she would greatly appreciate it. So reach out to her on social media and um, come on and talk about Alaska Raceway Park and, and show all those people at the Home Builder Show what we do all summer for fun. Um, that is everything. Oh, hey, George, George from New Zealand is over there. That's Johnny D's brother. Um, we got a bunch of people tuning in and Mike said it was going to be the race this weekend is going to be broadcast on Motor Mania most likely. So if you want to tune in and see how our Alaskan racers are doing, be sure to do that. Um, thank you guys all for bearing with me and the, the no power situation and um, whoever decided to turn on the snow today, uh, we need to drag them out and take care of that because uh, the snow is no good. We were working on the racetrack timing system yesterday, had big plans to do some more stuff on that today, and uh, Mother Nature changed her mind. So um, everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in today. I will be back here next week on Alaska Raceway Park's Tuesday Track Talk. If you haven't voted for us on advancemytrack.com, go ahead and do that. Check out the video. It's pretty rad. Um, thank you guys all for supporting the track and, um, we're going to number one this year. So let's make that happen. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry about